that uh, this power focus? What's it say? What's it on? You got, do you have a 6.5 too? Do you have a 6.5? Yeah. Okay, you have to have 6.5 if you had 6.4 or 6.8. You have to have 6.5. Alright, why don't we just leave it here for 10 minutes? You have 6.5? Come on again. Nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, five. Nine, seven, five, zero, six, five. Nine, seven, five, zero, six, five. She won again. Thank you. 
kind of guy who just takes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, just kind of incorporated into it, his own little full form. Now all the students, they all do the same form. I've never seen so many little Bacchantes <laughs> doing both forms in my life. Mike, Michael B. <laughs> I was exactly tall as that midget that beat your butt in California. <laughs> Wasn't he about this big? <laughs> Did he look like Woody Woodpecker?
know this is dating yourself now. The, the kicks are still straight on the trumpet. Hi, I'm Steve Gass, and uh, congratulations on your 20th year in karate. Now.
the man lost his tickets to Hong Kong. $2,000 worth of tickets, and he's calling You mean the one that he got 
by way of Canada. Tisa Bukowski loves it. Excuse me. I need, a, I need a couple of judges up here. Neil, Steve, Sal, Donnie. Could you come up here, please? Come on up.
that probably can tell as many stories as anybody else about his expeditions in uh, Atlantic City, Mr. Jeff Goldberg. Until tonight. You know, I got one of those watches too. <laughs> but when Steve and I compared watches, Steve had four, well, we thought they were diamonds. <laughs> Unfortunately, the day we received them, mine stopped that day. <laughs> I wore it though, it was nice of them. Mike, would you stand up for a minute? I just want to stand out in front of here. I want to, I want to show somebody something. Would you come on here, please? I'll stand over here. No, around the front of the been in the martial arts business, the brass business, physical fitness, as you can see, <laughs> karate, and he made a lot of money. He comes from, you know, a hard-working family. I just don't understand why. Can you pull up your pants? Uh-oh. Why the hell do you have somebody else's socks? <laughs> Man, man. <laughs> oh, that don't even know no few, right, Pacheco? Right. Right, let's start on you. Love you not roasting you. Thank you. Well, we, we had a couple of good run-ins with Mike throughout my life. I've known Mike about eight, ten years. Of course, I'm not one of the chosen few. <laughs> I'm the chosen one. <laughs> you know, I remember Mike, well, not Mike, but, you know, people like Mike, way back when. Well, we got time to win together. Atlantic City, the only man, we used to call him the buck and a half kid. Of course, nobody knew about this. Well, his mother asked me to watch him when we went down there. I don't know why, because nobody watched the rest of us. Uh, every 15 minutes, she'd say to Mike, how you doing, Mike? Buck and a half. The man lost $150 a minute. We had to take him out to dinner, right, Doug? Remember they had to give you the sport coat? That nice tweet, sport yeah, nice tweet. Then we had a, a jug end encounter. Oh, I wish I had the video. The only man that died on the floor with Frito Lays crushed in his top. <laughs> we were all home at 11. I had to call Laura and say, Is Mike home? She says, No, that's because he fell asleep under a bridge. <laughs> well, Mike can't drink too much. He's not welcome in Waterbury or Wolf. <laughs> yeah, I went to his house and I talked a little bit. You know, my son, Chris, and I have another son, Jason, a little bit loud when the young boy was born. He said, Shh. But the week before, he blew three holes in my driveway with big, these big grenades he made. <laughs> That's okay. I don't want to roast him too much because I give it to him every day I see him. I love you. God bless you. Nice 20 years. Excuse me, Mr. Goldberg. Uh, was that the same jug end where he broke the chandelier with his bow? I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, aren't you still getting the bill from the jug in for that phone? I still have to pay for these <laughs> You know, there's, there's, there's got to be stories that the Bogdansky sister and brother have on their, their lovely brother. Come on. No, no, we can tell you. <laughs> Entrepreneur, move up there. <laughs> John, you got, you got it. This was 
prior to this. <laughs> you mean he was doing his own TV shows? Yeah, yeah. I gotta tell you, right in the backyard.